Joe. How are you doing today? Good. Good. I see you've brought someone with you. Yeah, this is my wife, Janet. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Gabby, the occupational therapist, and this is Janelle. She's a student occupational therapist working with me, so she's just going to sit in on our meeting, okay? Is that okay? Yeah? Great. So last week we talked to you about some of the goals that you were looking forward to, and you identified your primary goal um, to be to return to work. Okay. So is this still really important to you? Yeah, I feel like I really um, need to get back to work so I can start supporting my family again. I'm tired of them having to always take care of me. I want to be able to take care of them. Yeah, that sounds really important to you. So do you have any leads on any jobs that you'd be interested in? Well, my brother actually works at the local car manufacturing plant, and he said that he could um, get an opening for Joe there. And then we talked about it, and he seemed interested in that. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about the interview process? I'm not too worried about the interview because it will be my brother-in-law conducting it and I'm pretty comfortable talking to him so there's no pressure there. Okay, that's great. So as you mentioned to us before, some of your symptoms are increased arousal that has affected your sleep and also caused you feelings of irritability. Mm -hmm. um, you've also been re-experiencing the trauma through nightmares and flashbacks and avoiding places that kind of bring back memories. Is that right? Yeah, that seems pretty accurate. Okay, so out of these symptoms, what are you most concerned with or what do you think we should focus on? Um, I think that my biggest concern, especially with returning to work, is that um, I've been avoiding places with loud noises and this job um, at the car manufacturing place has a lot of loud noises and I'm just afraid that it's going to bring back memories of my time in Iraq where there was loud noises all, all the time. Even like around the house when the kids are playing at the front door, the dog's barking, he gets in this state of shock and he's really irritable for the rest of the day. Okay, this is a very common reaction for individuals who are experiencing PTSD. Um, there has been some research studies done that show positive results in reducing these anxiety symptoms that you may be feeling. And one of those is exposure therapy. Um, it actually focuses on directly addressing the thoughts, feelings, and situations that are related to the trauma that you've been avoiding. Well, I mean, that sounds interesting, but does this mean I have to relive my experiences? Well, basically, they would simulate work um, environments, and then they would gradually increase the exposure that you would be given so that it would just be little bits at a time so that it would be tolerable and you'd be able to get used to it. Okay. That sounds like something I should think of. Okay, great. Um, so we, you can think about it, and we can discuss it um, later once we kind of talked about all the different interventions that you might okay. offer. Okay. All, right. all right. So what would be your next biggest concern in your return to work? Um, I would say my next biggest concern would be the fact that I just feel really alone. Um, I've had lots of support from you guys here, and my wife has been great through it all, but I just, I just feel like no one actually understands what I'm going through, and I'm the only one in the world that feels like this. It's just a really weird feeling. It's been really hard for him to talk about his experience overseas. I've always been there for him to listen, but... I don't know, it's been a really big struggle for us to communicate, and now that I think about it, there hasn't really been anyone who's felt comfortable talking to me since then. Mm -hmm. That would be really hard. It's, it's not easy to feel like you're alone or the only person in a certain situation. Um, we've done some research that found that group therapy is a great way to help individuals with PTSD um, overcome this hard time. So there's group therapy programs that allow individuals who suffer from symptoms of PTSD to talk about their symptoms and also work through different coping strategies together. That sounds like it would be really helpful for me, actually. Um, do you mind telling me a little bit more about it? Yeah, sure. So group therapy allows individuals um, with PTSD to come together in a group setting and be able to talk about um, the experiences that they've had in a setting where they don't feel any shame or stigmatization. Um, these, group help, these groups help individuals feel a sense of belonging because everyone there has experienced PTSD in some way. Right, that's exactly what I need. Is there any group like that happening now? Not at the moment, but I saw that some are going to be coming up really soon, so I'll make sure to keep you updated on that and give you contact information when I get it. That's awesome. Do you have any other concerns that we can support you with at this time? Um, I guess the last thing is, is, you know, what if this all works out? I get back to work, I get the job, and then I'm starting to experience my symptoms again, and I just can't handle the work environment. Well, one way for us to help with that is that we can actually partner with the plant as well as with you and remain in contact with you over the whole process. And so we can continue with follow-up appointments as you need them and help with anything that you need while you're there. And that will ensure that we're all on the same page and that you don't feel like you're alone. Okay. Yeah, so do you have any other questions for me today? 
No, this all sounds good. I just need some time to think about it all and see what the best option is for us. Definitely. You guys take all the time you need. Okay, thanks.